Welcome to the High Tunnel Grape Project video series. Today, we will be discussing how to trellis and prune grapevines. We are at Barnhill Orchards in Lone Oak, Arkansas with grower collaborator Rex Barnhill. Rex uses Haygrove multi-bay high tunnels to grow a diversity of crops, including strawberries, lettuce, and tomatoes. Table grapes were planted in one of his tunnels in May of 2017. In June, Dr. Garcia visited Barnhill Orchards to prune the young plants. Here, she is removing all but two or three of the strongest shoots that originate from the main trunk. After the vines begin to grow, the strongest shoot will be selected to become the main trunk of the vine with all other shoots removed. Once the main shoot is selected, a cord is strung from the bottom trellis wire to begin to train the vine to the trellis. In July, we return to Barnhill Orchards to prune and train the grapevines to the trellis following a Geneva double curtain training system in the center and a modified double high cordon system on the outside rows with the high cordon facing the inside. So in, in this vine, we are looking at these two buds to become the permanent cordons. They are kind of small right now, so we're just gonna keep an eye on them. And once they reach the wire, we can start kind of uh, wrapping it around it right here. And then this, uh, vine will continue to grow and when it reaches this point we will again select two uh, buds to, uh, uh, to become the, the permanent cordons. Now here you end up with this um, bud right here. It is too far to do anything with it so you just go, come in and cut it off. Okay and so now we're looking here we we bent this the, uh, we bent this one to go this way and then we have this one we can probably we're gonna leave this one and this one I like to send this one if we can this way if not when it grows we'll send that one that way what Rex was saying if we can get over it so when it pulls it's not like pulling the vine down so yeah, I'm just gonna trying to guide it, put this little plastic, uh, and it, it just guides it, and eventually this plastic is gonna come off. So it's not gonna girdle the arms or the cordons, uh, just for just to kind of guide the vine. Some people don't do that. I just kind of, since we're not here to watch it on a regular basis, uh, I wanna do it. And then here, Let's go ahead and, and start kind of making sure that this one goes this way. So, but it's too small, so I'm just going to make a loop for the time being so that it can start flipping and going that way. There we go. Again, here we, uh, this one we can start flipping, uh, twisting, so, and then this one is going to be going that way. To review, shoots are selected for each cordon and trained to the trellis wire by wrapping around the back side of the wire and tying with horticultural tape. For the high trellis wire, the main shoot is selected to become one of the cordons and is trained to the wire by wrapping and tying. A bud off of the main shoot will be selected to become the second cordon facing the opposite direction on the high wire. I don't know. 